Hi, this is Shirley Caruso, and in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create a graphical user interface, sometimes pronounced GUI or GUI, that will allow users to interact with your tutorial or presentation through the addition of graphical icons. So the first thing you need to decide is how you're going to divide your tutorial or your presentation. I've decided that I'm going to include an introduction, three modules, a review, and a quiz. I'd also like my users to know about the course, how to navigate, how to contact me, and some answers to some frequently asked questions. So I'm going to start by building in some of the graphical icons that you will use to lead your learners to these different various places in your tutorial or presentation. So I'm just going to start by drawing a few things. And I'm going to draw a line across the top just so it's going to give me some guidelines on where to put some different tabs. And I'm going to choose a shape that kind of looks like a tab. This one looks nice to me. And across the top here, I'm going to include the four tabs about this course, navigation, contact, and FAQ. So I'm going to start building my tabs. And you can make these any color you would like just by double-clicking on them to bring up a menu here. So depending on how you want your theme to look, you can have different color themes. I think I'm going to go with the standard black. And because that I'm going to need four of these tabs, I am going to do a control C for copy, and then a control V three times so that I will have a total of four tabs. Now you can place these across the top. You can make them overlap if you would like. I'm just going to bring this one to the end. Bring this one here, make it overlap slightly so it looks like tabs on a binder. You can create your own shapes and your own color theme. There we go. I'm going to bring that out a little bit. Another thing you can do is on the View tab, you can choose to view grid lines that can help you space out your graphical icons in a more symmetrical manner. Now, once you have these tabs across the top, you want to label them. So by double-clicking, you're going to have the ability to type in a label for these tabs. So the first one I'm going to say is about this course. The second one I am going to label navigation. The third one, contact. And the fourth one, frequently asked questions. Also realize that you can double click on these shapes and you can give them some shape effects. So anything from a glow, a shadow, some 3D or some beveling effects that would make them look more like actual buttons. So let's see what this does. I might like this effect doesn't really do much with the black color. See more of a, a beveled effect here. I'm just going to go with this one for now. It's 
called divot. So that's what I'm going to do with all of these. Shape effects, bevel, divot, shape effects, bevel, divot, shape effects, bevel, Okay, and here I'm going to give the title of my tutorial or my presentation, which happens to be Effective Communication. And instead of uh, adding a subtitle, I think I'm going to insert a picture. Let's see if I have any pictures stored here. Sample picture. And I'm going to uh, insert this picture of the penguins because they are communicating. Make sure that when you're inserting an image that you give credit to the source of where that image came from or you use an open source so that the picture is uh, free to use. So I'm just going to put this right here and I think I'm going to move my title up a little bit. I'm going to move this over here and you'll see why in just a few minutes. I'm going to take this so that it comes out over here a little bit more. Now I've also decided in this presentation that I'm going to have three modules. I'm also going to have an introduction, a review, and a quiz. Uh, when you have an adult audience, it's always a good thing to include an introduction to let the learners know or your audience know what they are going to be seeing, what you are going to teach them about, what you are going to be presenting then you actually present the content. In my case, I have three modules. And then you always want to review the information that you just presented. And then it's up to you if you want to include some type of assessment. So what we're going to do along this line is we're going to insert the shapes that are going to be our graphical icons so that the users can go to these different areas of your presentation or tutorial. So you can choose any shape that you would like. I'm going to go with this shape this time. And bring it over here, stretch it all a little bit. I don't want it to be so wide, so I'm going to change that. And I'm going to go ahead with my color theme here. And I am going to need six of these. So I'm going to do a control C, then a control V five more times. And I can kind of place these. This time I want to leave a little bit of space in between them because they are the color black. I don't want them really to overlap. So you might have to. Um, reposition these a couple of times until you get it just right. And I have my grid lines showing, so that's kind of helping me to guide them so that they're all nice and even. Uh, this seems to be a little large now, so I'm going to reduce the size of this. Just bring it down a little bit. Okay, so here are the tabs I need for here are introduction, I need one that says Module 1. And I'm going to name my Module 1 I Statements. This is going to be Module 2. And my Module 2 is going to be named Body Language.
my module three. Feedback. Module four. Well, let's not call that module four. Let's call that review. And then last, I am going to call this quiz because I've decided to include a quiz. Another thing to keep in mind when you're creating a graphical user interface is that you always uh, need to be aware that we read from left to right and we go back to left again and of course right. So you want to make sure that you're including information that follows the eye movement of a Z shape left to right, back to left, and back to right again. The most important information occurring here at the eye level and along the left-hand side. Now we, what we want our users to be able to do is to go to these various parts in our presentation or tutorial by clicking the navigation we've built in on this graphical user interface. So the way that we do that is, and as you can see on the left here, I've already gone ahead and I've labeled some slides that correspond with the tabs that I have just built. I don't have any content yet. I just have some placeholder slides so that I can show you how you would uh, make this graphical user interface be interactive for the user. So let's start with about this course. I want about this course to go to this slide that I have named about this course when the user clicks on this first tab. So I'm going to click on the tab so that it's highlighted. I'm going to go into my insert tab and I'm going to choose hyperlink. When I say hyperlink, a dialog box appears and it wants to know where do I want the hyperlink inserted. And I want it inserted a place in this document. When I click on place in this document, you can see everything that I have built into this presentation so far appears in this menu. And here is my slide that I would like about this course. So I'm going to highlight that and here's my slide preview and I'm going to say OK. Now let's see if this worked. I'm going to do F5 to put this into presentation mode. And when I click on about this course, you can see I get the symbol of a hand with a pointed finger. When I click, it goes to the slide about this course. So everything is working. So let's do that again with one of the other tabs. This time, I want to navigate to the introduction tab, or I want to allow my user to navigate there. So I'm going to highlight this tab. I'm going to go to Insert, Hyperlink, Place in this document, and then I want to navigate to the Introduction slide when that graphical icon is clicked on. So as you can see, here's the slide preview. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to put this into presentation mode, F5. I'm going to click on Introduction, and it takes me right there to the introduction slide. And that's exactly what you would do for each and every tab that you have built on the graphical user interface.